The best games of 2017, the 25 games you should definitely play. 2017 was a vintage year for games. We saw the launch of the Xbox One X and Nintendo Switch, the release of some amazing new titles like Horizon, Zero Dawn, and the reinvention of longtime favorites like Assassin's Creed Origins and Zelda, Breath of the Wild. So narrowing this list down to 25 games was a real struggle, and ordering them required careful collaboration from the team. So how did we do it? Here's our final list of the best games of 2017. How many have you played? 25. Persona 5. Why should you play it? Pick a reason. The incredible soundtrack. The ultra-polished visuals that are so energetic even the menus are cool. The clever dungeon design. The infinitely customizable combat options that make tinkering with your Persona lineup an hour devouring pleasure. Or maybe you just like the talking cat. But perhaps the best reason to play Persona 5 is simply because it will make you feel good. Being the chosen one destined to save the world is cool and all, but the characters in Persona 5 are just normal high school students. Make sure you stay prepared just in case anything comes up. Okay, let's do this! I'm prepared. Let's focus and get moving. This is the best part of being a phantom thief! Yep, good stuff. I'm satisfied. Spotted a shadow. Let's get it, Joker! The shadows are ready to kill. Be careful, Joker. Allow me to observe the path of your rehabilitation. 24. Star Trek Bridge Crew. Why should you play it? Not only is Bridge Crew the ultimate in Trek fan service, such as the loving recreation of the bridge on both the new Starship and the original Enterprise, but it's also a damn good use of VR. That is, when you play it properly, with three other human players. Which rarely ever happens. It's a strange thing that a game with such broad appeal is actually incredibly verified and niche, and many people have excitedly played it then quickly dropped it because they simply couldn't experience Bridge Crew under optimal conditions. People. I'm doing a scan right now. Captain, cling on ship decloaking. Red alert! Shields up to 100%, Captain. Fire phasers! Fire phasers now, Captain. Tactical arm torpedoes. Arming them now. Fire! Sniper Elite 4. Why should you play it? You mean the legendary X-ray kill cam where you can explode testicles isn't enough to convince you? Rebellion's Sniper Elite series has always been a solidly dependable franchise with bonus testicles but this trip to sun-drenched WW2 Italy up the game in every way. Every level is a sprawling open world filled with challenges and collectibles and the choice on how to, er, execute your missions is brutally exhilarating. The time to go high. The time to strike. Twenty two Battle Chef Brigade. Why should you play it? As the most recently released entry on our list, you may not have heard of Battle Chef Brigade yet. Give it time, because as word of mouth spreads, so too will its reputation. While the setup alone is unique and praiseworthy, that being a combination of 2D combat and match 3 puzzles set in a gorgeous animus world, it's the game's relentless optimism and charm that has those who play it buzzing with excitement. One. Injustice 2. Why should you play it? Fighting games are all Netherrealm does, 
and that singular focus shows through in how thoroughly and well executed Injustice 2 is. With an expensive roster of characters featuring fan favorites and some unexpected surprises, nobody foresaw a game where the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles can fight Hellboy, as well as finely balanced combat, it's easily a standout amongst his peers. It makes you stronger. Ferocious. A monster in the night. 20. Little Nightmares. Why should you play it? There's no getting around some of Little Nightmares' more infuriating aspects, mainly difficult camera angles and imprecise controls, but it's easy to forgive all that when this offers such an incredibly dark, magical kid story gone wrong. Think super sinister Ghibli meets Tim Burton, as a strange, faceless child in a yellow rain slicker explores a rusting, brine-soaked island called the Ma. Dishonored, Death of the Outsider Why should you play it? Death of the Outsider is perfect if you want a more condensed hit of that Dishonored magic, and want to see how it all ends. Following Billy Lurk, a popular side character, this takes on nothing less than a quest to kill the Outsider, the hipster god that's responsible for the last two games with his gifts and magical powers. Middle Earth, Shadow of War Why should you play it? Not everything is rosy in Monolith's Middle Earth. If you've read any of the headlines regarding Shadow of War's shoehorn loot box economy, deadbeat story, and questionable in-game content, then you'll already know this. Yet, despite all of that, I can't help but make return trips to Mortar to expand my army of orcs, conquer more enemies, and keep discovering the kind of you can make this up micro stories that the game excels at telling. The war for Mordor begins. Seventeen. Not in the woods. Why should you play it? The melancholy of trying to go home after years away, to find your town changed, friends who have moved on, isn't something you'd expect a game full of cats, crocodiles and foxes to capture, but here it is. Look beyond the fur and snouts and this is an insightful game that will draw you in with shoplifting trips and smart mouth bickering, then reward you for sticking around with a small town mystery and trippy dream sequences. Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice. Why should you play it? A Nordic inspired journey into Helheim that may or may not feature a permadeath system and also happens to be a metaphor for psychosis? That's a daring conceit for an indie game, but are we really that surprised by the success of Hellblade when the studio at the helm were the same people responsible for DMC, Devil May Cry, Heavenly Sword, and Enslaved? Ninja Theory's haunting fable defies categorization, but it's essential playing for anyone interested in the lasting power of interactive entertainment, even if Senua's Odyssey is never a comfortable watch. Screams. And now, that you're home, he's so far away. They've taken his soul. 
to these gods you cannot pray. 15. Near Automata. Why should you play it? Simply put, Near Automata is the best game Hideo Kiyama never made. Boasting a deceptively deep story and wonderfully winding twists and turns, the second entry in the Nier saga combines the meta-narrative cookiness of creator Yoko Taro and fuses it with the pulsating pace of Platinum's unique blend of frenzied action. The end result? One of 2017's best hidden gems. 2B Non-S's journey is packed with a kind of emotional gravitas rarely seen in the medium, exposing the player to something far beyond the Philosophy 101 textbook utilized by most of its peers. All logical thoughts. They're not a two. I can handle this. Androids were designed to protect their human masters. Even if it's pointless, you still have to do it. Fourteen. Friday the Thirteenth. Why should you play it? If ever there was a little game that could in 2017, it was Ilphonics Friday the Thirteenth. An asymmetric survival game or tactical murder simulator, depending on whether you play a hapless teen or Jason himself, what the game might lack in AAA polish, it more than makes up for in love for both the source material and the human, player experience. Mario plus Rabbids, Kingdom Battle. Why should you play it? Because, despite sounding like it was conceptualized from some weird, internet game idea generator, it's XCOM, but set in the Mushroom Kingdom, and it's developed by Ubisoft. Battle Kingdom is one of the freshest, most surprising, and most coherently clever games of the year. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Why should you play it? Maybe it sounds like a thin tweak on the usual shoot it folks online formula, but PUBG feels worlds apart from anything else, aside from the mods it builds on, and other shooters emerging to imitate it. Watching the living player count tick down from the 90s into the teens as you implausibly survive, maybe you found a sniper rifle and dropped that count by a good portion yourself. Maybe you stole said sniper's car and sped away under fire, or maybe you just hid in a bathtub for 15 minutes, as thrilling as it is anxiety producing. Pray. Why should you play it? Ignore the ill-advised use of an existing, totally unrelated game name, this Prey has way more in common with the classic System Shock series, which paved the way for Bioshock, and their palpable, stifling sense of your not alone atmosphere. You can play your male or female version of Morgan you however you see fit. Perhaps you'll roleplay the sneaky scientist who scavenges thoroughly and clings to their humanity or succumb to the siren song of reality bending, DNA tainting alien abilities in the name of survival. Good morning, Mort. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Ten. Uncharted, The Lost Legacy. Why should you play it? 
for something that started out life as a piece of story DLC for Uncharted 4, the Lost Legacy grew into something that was much, much more than that. Playing out like a perfect greatest hits album of everything Naughty Dog, the Lost Legacy quickly cemented itself as one of the best games of 2017. A thief? You're working for a thief. Everyone's gotta make a living. You were going to sell me out, weren't you? Let's get one thing straight, this is my gig. You want your share? We play by my rules. Nine. Kufed. Why should you play it? Kufed is right up there with Contra and Metal Slug in the pantheon of stellar co-op run and gun gauntlets, enchanting onlookers with its delightful style and engrossing players with demanding, but always defeatable, difficulty. The painstakingly hand-drawn animation, gorgeous watercolor backdrops, and peppy big band score make every level feel like a playable 1930s cartoon, and the emphasis on boss fights gets you into the white knuckle, blistered thumbs action straight away. Eight. Wolfenstein 2, The New Colossus. Why should you play it? Wolfenstein 2 is a slick shooter, sure, with some impressive set pieces and a bunch of satisfyingly lethal weapons to fire. What sets it apart, however, is the bizarre, likable cast of characters that populate its richly detailed world. This is exemplified by protagonist B.J. Blazkowicz himself, who is given way more death than his meat-headed one-man army appearance suggests, thanks to a touching, brutal backstory and plenty of tender scenes with his partner and unborn child. Right woman. You still got some Nazi fighting killing skills up in you? I got a plan that's gonna send shockwaves throughout the nation. Seven. Destiny 2. Why should you play it? In the months since Destiny 2 arrived, it's collected enough negative PR to give a fallen champion a full set of black eyes. All of those odd and frustrating decisions, from consumable shaders to weird vault sorting to hidden XP scaling, are important, and Bungie should be held to account for them. But even with all that, Destiny 2 is still some of the most fun you can have playing an online shooter with friends. The tower, the city, our home. So, everything is gone. Your stuff, my stuff, most importantly, my stuff. Today we know our enemy. His name is Gary or Gil. Glenn? Is it? I don't know. It's something with a G. Go. I know you look to me in times of peril, but this is not my battle alone. Which means if I don't see you out there, I'll kill you myself. Six. Resident Evil 7. Why should you play it? The Resident Evil series might be more than 20 years old, but the latest installment is a high point for Capcom's brutal behemoth. It's smartly light on the Rishi lore and takes its cues instead from movies like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. As Ethan Winters, your classic gaming everyman, you're searching for your wife, Mia, but end up running into the Batrad and Zane Baker family instead. Daddy's coming. We need to go. We need to go now! What the fuck are you? Shut up and listen if you want to stay alive. Ethan. You gotta get out of that house. Five. What remains of Edith Finch? Why should you play it? Yes, what remains of Edith Finch is heartbreaking. Yes, you'll probably shed a tear. Yet the tales that lie waiting in the Finch house are worth it all. Breaking open bedroom doors that have been sealed for decades, each one you enter is filled with the memory of its owner. You'll dive through their last moments in exquisite mini games, although describing them as games doesn't do them justice. Each one matches their family member perfectly.
it had to end one way or another. Four, Super Mario Odyssey. Why should you play it? By moving out of the Mushroom Kingdom and taking Mario to never seen before locales, Super Mario Odyssey makes the game feel fresh and new. Of course, this is a still a Super Mario game, with all its green pipes, Goombas and ground pounds, but thanks to Mario's new friend Cappy, it's also very much an innovation. Horizon, Zero Dawn. Why should you play it? Astonishing doesn't begin to cover how it feels to experience Horizon, Zero Dawn. Considering Gorilla is known for its ominous industrial killzone, this open-world RPG was a daring foray into unexplored territory and boy did it pay off. Instead of being a chore, Horizon's main quest constantly surprises with its ingenuity. Assassin's Creed Origins. Why should you play it? Not only the best open world adventure in the series so far, seriously good going, given that we've been free running through history for 10 years now, Origins delivers a truly fresh experience, unshackled from the tired tropes of previous creeds. Ancient Egypt is a true, and often literal, sandbox, full of seemingly endless potential and baic, our latest hooded hero, shines as an assassin with genuine heart. There are whispers on the wind. A brotherhood born in the shadows. They are the first to call themselves the Assassins. One, The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild Why should you play it? The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild reinvents one of Nintendo's most revered franchises, reframes our expectations of open world, and redefines traditional constraints of play, digitally and physically, with its liberating free climbing mechanic and Switch's seamless portability. The history of the royal family of Hyrule. Yes. 
save her. My daughter. 